I've been to Meteor Crater in Arizona and I'm what five times and you know you can look at the examine the, the crater morphology width to depth and there's you know it's totally consistent with the physics of a roughly 150 meteor meter 150 foot iron asteroid we know it was an iron asteroid because we find the pieces of it laying all over the landscape there's a hunk of the original thing sitting in the museum there um so we have enough examples like that that we can we can derive a lot of insight and information into the impacting process. Now, is it a matter of either or? I don't think so. Because one of the things that seems to be associated oftentimes with uh, hypervelocity impact phenomena is you get electrical discharges. It's very significant electrical discharges, particularly as this thing is passing through the atmosphere. What's the role? I don't know. But, you know, it does seem that under certain circumstances it may, and of course, lightning bolts, you know, you could, you could describe a lightning bolt essentially as a, as a type of organized plasma. No, and so, <laughs> yeah, so you've got this object coming high, you know, might be moving at 15 to 20 miles per second, right? Mm. It's coming through the atmosphere and it looks like it's discharging plasma bolts. Yeah, that seems to me to be very plausible. 